Hello, Sparky1208. Hi, guys. <laughs> Thanks for joining. I'm so sorry I'm late. Um, the Cookie Run Kingdom live stream that we did with the other voice actors ran very late. Uh, I should have known. Um, I mean, we're voice actors. We love to talk. Um, so my apologies to keep y'all waiting. Um, but I have some, oh, oh, I need to go grab my iPad because I need to be able to look at, uh, orders and the requests that you guys have, um, for quotes and personalizations and stuff. And also like, I did the, um, the cookie run live stream in my booth and, and, uh, um, it's like, you can only see me from like here with my webcam in my booth. And I was like, I'm going to wear comfy pants and then I'll change into like jeans for like my Instagram live feed. Um, I was in so such a rush. I didn't do that. <laughs> so yeah, we'll keep it real. We'll keep it comfy. This is my you know, um, at home look. <laughs> and I think I just saw somebody ask if I was going to be at anime Las Vegas. Um, I don't think so. Um, not that I know of, but I will be at level up expo, which is in Vegas and just like a couple weeks. It's the, the third weekend of, uh, February. I think if that helps. Okay. I'm going to go grab my iPad. I'll be right back. That was quick. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me on this fine Sunday. Um, it started out, I'm in Austin at the moment, and it started out as this like beautiful, like heavy rain, gray day. And then it's like turned into like almost 70 degrees. I don't know what happened. <laughs> um, okay, let me pull up Streamly here. Okay. And log in. Oh my God, my iPad's so old, I have to use fingerprint. Um, I don't know, maybe that's still standard for iPads. I have like one of the original iPads, I feel like. So old. Oh, all right, we got some more orders between the last time I checked. So I'm gonna have to go grab more prints. I'm gonna have to leave y'all again. I'm sorry. Um, but let's see. Let's go to sales overview. And um, I know we got some VIPs on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, and start with them first. Um, and I do wanna say, I'm so sorry, you guys. Um, there was a little mix up with Streamly and um, I have a couple Holly Berry um, cookie prints from a previous signing that I did but um, the prints that were supposed to be for this signing didn't arrive in time, unfortunately. So I have a couple, but I don't have quite enough to um, live sign every single one that was ordered. So I apologize in advance. Um, I'm gonna do my best to like still see if I can find a way to get a video to anybody that I missed of me signing it. So you can still have that. Um, but again, I apologize. Okay. So, I don't know if you're watching, but uh, Edith, I love that name. Um, I have a Holly Berry cookie print for you. By the way, I'm signing on like cardboard because I learned the hard way. Um, paint pens like to explode over everything. And um, the last time I did a live sign, uh, I got, um, I had just gotten like a new desk and uh, I, like a paint pen exploded all over it. It was a little bit of a mess. It's like one of the like unknown hazards of being a voice actor. <laughs> all right, Edith, you requested the quote, all who have shared a cup with me are my friend. Mm, I love that one. I love Holly Berry so much. She's like the queen of inclusion and like generosity and happiness. She is just the best. Um, Okay, I'm sorry. I don't have a lot of experience live streaming, streaming, streaming. I can just say streaming, right? Um, I don't have a lot of experience. 
experience streaming. And um, I'm not very good at like talking while I'm writing something, if I'm saying something different than what I'm writing. And I've messed up so many prints um, where I'll start like writing what I'm saying. So if I go kind of quiet while I'm writing things down, I apologize in advance. That's why I need to like do some more homework or training or something. Hi, Daniel. Good to see you. Okay. All who's shared a cup with me are my friends. I'm doing red on this one because this Holly Berry print just screams for it. I also did, I did red lipstick in a in honor of Holly Berry. <laughs> um, this is one of my favorites. I'm a fan of a good like matte red. Mm. Who says redheads can't wear red lipstick, right? Um, <laughs> how many of you all on the stream are Cookie Run fans? I'm curious, like how many, um, how many of y'all are here from Cookie Run or how many of y'all are here just for all the other like wonderful fandoms and properties. Um, I freaking love Cookie Run. I can't play mobile games. It's become a problem for me. <laughs> um, I uh, downloaded um, uh, 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 Animal Crossing Pocket Camp a couple years ago and it was like, Oh man, it was bad. I spent so many hours on that game. Like I'm really bad at uh, um, like moderating the amount of time that I put into a game when it's mobile. Not so hard when it's on like a console for me, but mobile games, man, they get me. So um, I haven't actually played Cookie Run, but I love the characters and the story so much. Um, that I look up like the cutscenes and the stories on YouTube all the time. Um, sorry, I'm making sure I'm spelling everything right. Um, and I love, yeah, like I said, I just love the world and the characters so much. And Dev Sisters is such an awesome, awesome company to work for. They really, really care about their fandom. Um, which is lovely to see. Okay, Edith. <laughs> wow, one down. <laughs> I'm moving at a snail's face, you guys. I'm sorry. But Edith, I have um, your Holly Berry print here for you um, with the quote that you requested. I'm going to put her over here safely to dry. Um, will I do a YouTube channel, please? Uh <laughs> Maybe I'm working on it. It's like on my long to-do list. Um, yeah, it's, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm like going to maybe dip my toe into streaming. Uh, it's just a lot. It's a big commitment. And I don't, uh, I don't have like much of the like actual like technical equipment. So it would be a big undertaking, but I've gotten a lot of requests. So, okay, let's see. Um, I got yours, Edith. Do we have any other VIPs on here? Yes, we have Vincent. Vincent, you wanted an Albedo print. Um, one of my newer prints. My queen of queen of darkness. I love her so much. Um, and you didn't specify anything, so I'm gonna go ahead and do. I love this. Um, where is it? Oh, here it is. There, I have like a really pretty magenta that just looks lovely with Lady Albedo. Um, very curious to see if Crunchyroll is going to dub the Overlord movie. Crossing my fingers for that. Um, because I love this property so much. And Albedo is like the most fun, passionate, intense character to play. <laughs> and I will take any opportunity I can to do more of her. All right, Vincent, here is your print signed for you. She'll be coming home to you soon. Um, Oh my gosh, high school D and D! Wow, I haven't thought of that one in a while. Um, that was a lot of fun, but 
Gosh, it was so long ago. I don't know if she's going to come back. I hope so. I don't know. I guess we'll see. Um, okay. We have another VIP here. What? Oh, okay. I guess I was not looking at it right. Um, doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Oh, they're telling me I'm uh, not doing the right one. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, I like the old one. Sorry, I'm talking to inanimate objects. Um, mm -hmm. Accidentally marked one complete that I hadn't done. Okay, so the next one I have is for Sergio. Um, and you had wanted my puzzle piece print that I have. Um, this is a really cool print uh, for those of you who have not been on my streams before or met me at a convention. Um, this is one of my Dragon Ball Super prints that I have where uh, it is like a puzzle piece print where it, like if you get the other print that's sold by Dawn Bennett, the voice of Kale, um, you get her on this side and her print, that other half completes Kefla and then you got Kalifla on the other side. So I love this one so much. And let's see, Sergio, you wanted me to write, put me, me, put me and Kale together, and what do you get? Awesomeness. That's what you get. Awesomeness. You also get a lot of vegetables. You get your daily serving of vegetables. <laughs> Got to use a lot of exclamation marks with Caulifla. I learned that over time. She is like a two minimum, more like a three exclamation mark character. All right, Sergio, there is your print for you. Hopefully you can get the other half from Dawn because um, they look so good together. Okay, we'll put this one over here. And what do we have next? Okay. Doop -a doop -a doo. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So next, going down the VIP, 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 the VIP list, um, I have Melissa with a Holly Berry cookie print. Um, don't see a uh, name request. Oh, make it out to, oh, and this was supposed to be make it out to Sergio. I'm sorry. Well, I can go back and do that. Um, make it out to Melissa. I'm going to try blue this time. I like the blue. Oh, I think that you're answering. <laughs> I bet you got the other half of the uh, kale and cauliflower print. Excellent. Excellent. Very happy to hear it. Um, all right, Melissa. Um, fun fact. Uh, you know how like when you're, you call like customer service or you go into a Starbucks and they ask you your name and it's really loud and they can't entirely hear it correctly and then they call you by the wrong name? Um, you know when that happens? Uh, <laughs> the, uh, two most common names for people to confuse Elizabeth when I say it apparently is, um, is, uh, it's Samantha, go figure, and Melissa. Melissa makes more sense to me. Ooh, I like the blue with Miss Holly Berry as well. That pops real nice. It's funny how you become obsessed with paint pen colors when you do this. <laughs> All right, Melissa, I have your Holly Berry print here for you. Do I like Disney or DreamWorks movies? Uh, yeah. Who doesn't? I mean, are you even human if you don't like Disney and DreamWorks movies? <laughs> um, I, uh, 
one of my favorite uh, movies of all time, <laughs> and definitely um, my favorite Disney movie, is actually uh, The Emperor's New Groove. Um, I love that movie so much. I think the voice acting in it is phenomenal. I love Patrick Warburton. Kronk is one of my favorite characters that he's ever played. Um, and, uh, Yzma is like one of my favorite villains of all time. We actually talked about this a little bit in the cookie run kingdom, uh, stream earlier. Uh, okay. Let's see. Uh, star Kingo. I've got a holly berry cookie print for you as well. And you said, please add a small little comment about friendship. If not, that's okay. Of course it's okay. Um, I'm going to use that one, um, that, uh, we mentioned earlier, because it is actually one of my favorite uh, quotes of hers. Um, All who have shared a cup with me are my friends. Uh, I love your name, Star Kingo. It has a ring to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, love seeing some other, uh, some other uh, Emperor's New Groove love out there. Sorry, writing a longer sentence. It's like the squeakiness of Sharpies is deafening when you're doing a live stream. <laughs> Star King Girl, I have your Holly Berry print there with a nice little <sighs> friendship quote. Miss Holly Berry knows what it's all about. Uh, wrong letter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay, who have we got next on the hopper list? Uh, Nathan. Uh, we got a Rosaria from Genshin Imprint, Impact, <laughs> Imprint, uh, print for you. My lovely, my lovely little spicy ice queen, as I like to call her. What is my favorite candy? Um, oh my gosh. Oh, that's a hard question to answer. Um, my sweet tooth has gotten better since I was younger. I used to eat so much candy. Like I literally used to have... Like I was famous among my friends for always having like a, a bag or of candy or like a candy bar in my purse at all times. Although that's dangerous in Texas summers, let me tell you what. Um, but uh, if I had to name just one, I feel like my OG favorite candy is Skittles. Like Skittles are just so delicious. They're this intense pop of flavor in your mouth. They have so many good flavors. And I got kind of obsessed with uh, different flavors at like different years of high school. And so what was it? I think it was my, my freshman year, it was the blue tropical pack. My sophomore year, it was the purple wild berry. Junior year, I did an about face and went back to like OG red. And then senior year, I want to say is around when the sour Skittles, I mean, I don't know if it's when they came out, but it's like when I kind of became aware of them. So senior year was all about the sour Skittles. Um, now I'm an equal opportunity Skittle eater. Like I will eat pretty much any flavor of Skittle that you put in front of me. I haven't tried, there's a bunch of new flavors though that I haven't tried. Like, isn't there a smoothie pack or something? It's, it's, uh, it's, um, yellow, I think. Wait, did somebody say, baby, <laughs> you're on the live stream. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> now I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Uh, Jason Liebrex on the live stream, everyone. Um, 
Thanks for coming and saying hi. <laughs> what have I wandered into? Uh, I don't know. Craziness, me talking to not myself, but uh, a lot of people that I can't hear. Um, trying to keep up with uh, with <laughs> text and um, entertain uh, entertain while I'm alone. Um, Nathan, here is your Rosaria print for you. Uh, okay, who do we have next? Let's see here. Danilo. I love that name. Um, you want a Sainichima from Persona 5 print. And I love this print. So, did you guys know that there's a Psy Day? I discovered it because of Twitter, uh, as I discover many things. And, um, I can't tell you what, what day it is anymore, though I don't remember. Um... But there was an artist who uh, was bummed that uh, Sai never got a persona. Me too. Me too. Um, and so he created one uh, of her for himself uh, called The Arbiter. And he did this really cool art. Um, and I loved it so much that I contacted him and like asked if I could buy the rights off of him to like be able to make prints for you guys. So, um, so yeah. Uh, let's see, Danilo, you want me to put, come with me, let's solve this case together. Absolutely. Okay. Um, there we go, do this one in white because it stands out so well. Um, I think I saw somebody asking me a question about um, like only ordering one print but getting charged more. Um, I'm so sorry, I can't answer that question for you. I don't um, handle uh, any of the like the the money or or, or that part. Um, it's all handled by Streamly and automated by them. So um, please, please, definitely reach out to them. Um, their help is excellent. Um, they have a very quick response time, uh, probably after the weekend. So please do reach out to them via email. Um, I'm sure that they can straighten everything out for you. Um, all right. Come with me. Let's solve this case together. Ooh, the white looks so good on here. Okay. Make sure that's nice and thick. And Danilo, here is your sigh as the arbiter print for you. Let me put this over here to dry. And I think, all right. Whoa, there's a lot of you VIPs, more than I realized. Um, all right, who we got next? Uh, Kane. Hey, Kane. You would like a Persona 5 print as well, but we're going old school Canon OG artwork. Love this print too. Um, and you would like, I have a responsibility to close this case. Yes, she does. Um, I love Sai's sense of responsibility. Um, man, she's a complex character and I love her. And it was so good. I got to see Sheremy. Um, my little sis in the, the cookie run, um, uh, the cookie run kingdom live stream that I did just before this. Uh, will I be going to fan expo Dallas this year? Um, stay tuned. <laughs> I will see <say> that. <laughs> Which is better, Persona 5 Royal or Strikers? I mean, that's hard to say. They're such different games, right? You know, Royal is kind of like, you know, the OG, you know, RPG with more content added to it. And Strikers is like a totally different, like, game style play. Um, so, I mean, I guess if you 
kind of want more like slash and dash, like beat them up, um, then definitely try strikers. I mean, they're both good. I think they're both worth playing. And then, you know, um, Royals got more of the like, you know, romancing and, you know, learning skills and, you know, the, the, the turn-based, if you will, playing. So, yeah, they're different, good, depends on your play style. Okay, who we got next? Uh, Josh Starks. Overlord, you would like an Albedo print. Oh, um, I have to go grab some more really quick because... Uh, got a bunch more orders in between when I went to do the cookie run stream and now. So give me one sec and I'm going to go grab some more friends. I just brought all of them. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can find Albedo in here. I don't have things labeled, which I really probably should. That would be the, the smart thing to do. That's Ruby. Let's see, those are Attack on Titan. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, that's Zelda Breath of the Wild. Of course, it's going to be the last one that I grabbed. No, that's midnight. Um, what am I, where am I missing? Where did she go? Where's my lovely lady Albedo? Oh, that's, oh, there she is. She's in with her Bosa, which is kind of funny because I don't know if they would get along at all, to be perfectly honest. All right. Here is an Albedo print for you, Mr. Josh. And put this down there. Let's see, put your favorite quote. Thank you. Hmm. Oh gosh, this one's kind of hard for Albedo. I love her, she's such a fun character to play, but she doesn't, um, she doesn't uh, have like as many one-liners as like a character like um, uh, Midnight has. <laughs> Midnight is like the queen of one-liners. Um, let's see. Um, well, you know, she's all about Ainz and um, uh, yeah, I'm going to do a little love letter to Ainz um, in my magenta. Uh, I'll put some hearts in there because Albedo is all about the hearts. Her eyes, hearts coming out of her head. Um, she's also a two exclamation mark character often I find. Squeaky squeak, squeak, squeak. Do a little... Signy sign down here. Make sure that's nice and filled in. I'm a little bit type A, a little bit OCD about some things, and uh, paint pens is one of them. <laughs> Making sure that like everything is thick and that there are no streaks and everything is like colored in properly. Um. All right, Mr. Josh Starks, here is your lovely lady Albedo for you. Put her over here to dry. Who do we got next? We have, oh, I think I, did I do Sergio? Sergio, did you order two prints? Because I don't see another one here for you. I guess you ordered two prints. Well, gosh, thank you. Um... We got a Sainijima Persona 5. Um, yes, the conversations between Ainz and Albedo are pure gold. And how, like, <laughs> particularly, like, the Ainz-Mamanga-Albedo, like, dichotomy. 
Um, sign this for you, Mr. Sergio. That's funny. I had to like hone my autograph over time. I used to hate my signature, uh, like when I was in high school and early college. And um, I just disliked it so much that I was like, I gotta come up with a new one. And I'm glad I did, because who knew I would end up using it as much as I have. So Sergio, here's your Persona 5 print for you. Um, who we got next? Mr. Marshall. Um, oh, you want the character collage. One of my uh, fave new ones uh, for for the fan that uh, wants them all, can't choose just one, I had a collage print made, which um, has most of my characters. Crazy enough, it still doesn't have all of them. And you'll see what I mean when I say crazy enough when I show it to you, because it is like a jammed pack full with... Uh, with characters. Why can I not find what I'm looking for? Sorry guys, I hate being this like ill-prepared. Um, that's what I get for scheduling this live stream so close to the other one. Here we go. So this is the character collage print. <laughs> Look at how many of them are on there. There are so many. <laughs> And this isn't even all of them. Um, all right, let's see, Marshall. Um, let's see. You're the best around. Nothing's ever gonna bring you down. I do that a lot when I get something stuck in my head and it reminds me of a song lyric. I will start singing. You're simply the best. That's what I'm gonna put. Because you are. All you guys are for being here. Thank you so much. It's really fun to do this and be able to spend this like extra time with y'all especially for those of you that can't make it out to cons. I think this is like an awesome, you know, awesome way to do it otherwise. There you are, Mr. Marshall. Get that out to you. Uh, put this over here. What do we have next? Ooh, a midnight. My first spicy lady for Belfry Baron. What a name. I love that. I want that name, Belfry Baron. Uh, you sound like a character in an in an anime. That's amazing. Okay. Oh, you want the like extra spicy midnight print? The um, mama wants to do bad things to you print. <laughs> uh, and I guess we'll just make it out to you. Um, I like to use blue on this one because it matches my sweet lady's eyes. Man, ah, uh, I tell you what, this new season of My Hero makes me so sad. I, you know, don't want to go into spoilers territory because it is still relatively fresh and I know not everybody has time to watch things immediately as they come out, but oof, it was a hard one. And, um... I did not see it coming. Anywho, on to happier things. <laughs> Here's your fun, awesome print. <laughs> okay. And next we have, oh, I think we're at the end of our VIP list for Jess Wilson. We have a Sai Nijima print. I'm going to have to grab that one as well. Are you in here? No. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Um, I 
forgot that I had these. I think I'm gonna start bringing them to the cons again. For those of you who follow me or have followed me for a while, um, you probably know that I do a lot of modeling for one of my best friends um, who runs uh, like a fantasy photography uh, website, world building, novel creating, crazy universe um, called Time of the Fairies and also Fairy Punk. And um, I've been modeling for him for years and years and years now. And um, I have like some really cool like character prints that I'm going to start bringing to cons if y'all want something a little different. That one. Is it too late to pay for one? No, it is not, my friend. You can still go to Streamily and um, find my store and order one because I just finished the VIP list. I'm, I still have to get through the regular list. So um, I will refresh everything and it will 100% show up. I promise. Um, so yes, you, you can still order things. And uh, here's another one. I really like that one. Serving some attitude. Um, this is just me. Me and a tree. What else have I got in here? Ooh, I like this one. This is like, gives me like woodland elf, elf warrior vibes. And, uh, and then we got like, we got an angel. Maybe a fallen angel. But yeah, I thought it would be something kind of fun and different to do. Um, had people ask me about it. So why not? Right? Okay. What was I doing? I was finding a Persona 5 print for you, Jess. Don't worry. I haven't lost my mind. Um, nope. That's Ruby. Ruby, 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 Ruby. Oh, how about that date announced for volume nine finally? Oh my God. I'm so excited. Because see, people always think that we have like this info that we know more than you do. And, and sometimes we do. But um, in this case, we didn't know. Like we did not know any more than you do when they were going to release volume nine. So I was so excited um, when I saw that. And uh, ooh, those Alice in Wonderland vibes. Mwah, loving it. Okay. <laughs> Sigh. For Jess Wilson. Okay. I love a good last name on a print. It's like, this is not just any Jess. This is Jess Wilson. Also a good name. Oh, Echo, do I have notifications? No, I wasn't actually. No, no, I don't want to actually hear it. Echo, stop. Gonna tell me anyways. Oh, there's a winter storm watch for Austin, which I am curious about because the I know that the um, temperature here is actually supposed to drop really significantly tomorrow, but I don't think it's going below freezing. Anywho, Jess Wilson, there's your print for you. Um, all right, okay, I'm just gonna refresh this really quick and see if there are any um, other VIPs. Oh yes, okay. Uh, Kobe Bear, Kobe, Kobe. I don't, uh, I don't know which one is the correct pronunciation, but I totally recognize your name. You're all over my social media and I love you because you're so positive and wonderful. You would like a midnight print. Um, I like to call this the nighty night print because that's about what you're gonna do when you inhale after she does this. Um, can I please write my favorite quote? I would be delighted to, although it is hard to pick with midnight. Let me tell you what. Um, so I'm gonna do my favorite one for this print, which you will see. Um, Tell you what, you can get high off of these Sharpie paint pens. So fragrant. It's like I don't even need to wear perfume to cons because I have Eau du Charpe. Eau du Charpe. Um, Cubby Bear, there is your midnight print for you, lovely lady. Whoosh. 
No nighty night for you though, yet the stream is not done. <laughs> okay, all right, I'm gonna refresh one more time before we move on. Um, all right, that seems to be it for the VIPs. So we can move on to the normal orders. Um, hi, Ruth. You would like a holly berry cookie print. I love your name too. Edith, Ruth, I love me some like, some like, I, I guess old fashioned names. Uh, I feel like names that were, um, remind me of, of, of different times. Uh, and I will just say Ruth, um, for those of you who weren't here when I explained this earlier, um, there was a little bit of snafu with Streamily. Um, I didn't get all of my Holly Berry prints um, before today. I had a couple on hand, so those are the ones I'm signing now. But I don't have as many prints right now as I have orders for Holly Berry, so I'm so sorry if I don't get to sign your Holly Berry print on this live stream. I will do my best to find um, a way to get a video to you otherwise. Um, so Ruth, you are getting my last Holly Berry uh, print that I have on hand. And uh, yay for you. And I'm, I'm sorry to anyone who comes after. Um, no, you're amazing, Kobe Bear. Uh, all right. I remember last stream that Patrick Seitz said that Holly was his favorite. Um, if there could be any effort, reference to that, that would be awesome. Thanks. We'll draw it. Um, ooh, let's see. Well, I... Okay, I think I know what she would say. Um, I, I love Patrick. Uh, he was telling me that like he and his wife will like go around um, the house sometimes, and then like if they say something like funny, they'll like end it with a like <laughs> like Holly Berry laugh. And I was like, oh, you would, and it would sound so good on you. Um, I'm gonna use a thin one for this. Let's see. Is cacao? How is cacao spelled? Is it C A C A O? C A C A O? C A C. Can somebody? Can somebody look it up and write it in the, I know, I know. Oh, Brad, Bradford. <laughs> Hi, Bradford. Hey, guys. Um, My friend, Bradford Hastings, C-A-C-A-O. Thank you for looking that up for me. My friend, Bradford Hastings, is on the live stream. He is a crazy talented voice actor. And um, he was the voice of, uh, it was Tom Sheldon, right, in Just Cause 4. Um, he was fantastic and so much fun to work with. Um, thanks for, thanks for popping in my friend. And also I see Evan Glover. Hi Evan, good to see you too. All right, Ruth, I'm gonna let you discover my little quote when you get the print. Leave it, uh, you know, a little bit, something to look forward to, a little surprise. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Um, bringing it full circle to Kronk. Squeak and squeak and squeak, squeak. Um, but there is your print for you. And I will put this over here to dry safely. How do I get a midnight print signed by me, Elizabeth? Bye, Bradford. Thanks for coming. Um, well, uh, you can either find me at a convention near you or you can order one right now if you go to streamily.com and look up my name. I've got a little storefront and multiple midnight prints and you can order one. And as long as you get your order in before the end of the stream, I will sign it this evening. Okay. Um, okay, Kelsey, you got a Holly Berry cookie print too. And I'm so sorry. I will get that to you. I promise. Um, but happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. I raise my glass to you. Um, who do we have next? Eric, you would like a Sai Nijima print as well. Uh, OG, OG Sai. Please write your favorite Sai quote. If you could give Sai a Phantom Thief code name, what would it be? Thank you for being such an amazing person. Well, I didn't have to come up with an amazing Phantom Thief code name because uh, 
that artist did, the arbiter. I love it. Um, let's see. Uh, mm, size a hard one to choose a, uh, Okay. Mm Ooh, I know what. She says it to um, the protagonist. I like that one. Okay, Eric. I feel like you even taught me how to live. I love that because he did. I feel like, um, you know, I feel like, like many of us um, who live in a fast paced world, we can kind of like get through our days without actually living. Um, and I feel like, you know, Joker in Persona 5 kind of like woke Psy up and did teach her kind of what it was like to actually live your life instead of just be living for the future. Okay, ooh, it's getting darker. I'm gonna have to up the brightness on my light. I just saw. Do, 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 do. All right, Eric, my friend. There is that for you. Okay, let me, let me turn this up a smidge. That's a little better, right? Yeah. Um, what is my favorite Rosaria voice line? Ooh, she's got some good one-liners too. Um, so I, I personally can have like a bit of an issue with like boundaries with work and I love my work and I always want to do like a really good job and, um, wait, I need to go brighter. Wait, I should, Matthew, should I do it? Do I, do I need to be brighter? Should I go brighter? Is this not bright enough? I feel like I'm looking a little shiny, but yes, yeah, sorry. I was getting there. I promise I was going to circle back around to Rosaria. Um, but uh, yes, uh, I like this quote so much because I feel like I have a lot to learn from it. Uh, the quote is, um, everything is negotiable except overtime. And um I have had to, to take a cue from Ms. Rosaria and, uh, and learn to like punch the clock and like really mean it. Um, Eric, I have another print for you from Ms. Midnight. I just need to grab it from here. You'd like the Uber Ultra, ult words can say them. Um, the Uber Ultra, uh, spicy midnight, uh, this little lady right here. And let's see, you want me to write Go Beyond Plus Ultra? Absolutely. One of my favorite BAs ever. Aw, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I hope you come to Minnesota someday. Me too, man, me too. I'm trying to think. Oh, my geography's terrible. I know, okay, Minnesota. Um. Is, is Milwaukee anywhere close to where you live in Minnesota? I know I'm going to be there soon. I'm trying to think of like places that I'm going to be like up in the northern part of, um, of, uh, of our great, big, beautiful country. Um, so yeah, I do hope I make it to Minnesota soon. I know I'm going to be in Milwaukee this upcoming weekend, but I don't know if that's anywhere close to you. I don't know if that helps. I'm sorry. All right, Eric, let's see here. Um, do in the blue. Heck yeah. Go beyond plus ultra man. It's one of my favorite things to shout out with everybody at panels. Makes you feel alive. All right. There is your second print, good sir. 
Oh, hello. Hello, my Australian friend. Thank you for coming to Brisbane. I had such a good trip. That was so much fun. And you live in a beautiful, well, I don't know if you live in Brisbane, but um, Brisbane was beautiful. Uh, sexiness isn't just an aesthetic. It's sometimes needed so we can do our jobs well. <laughs> well, when you're midnight, <laughs> it certainly is. Um, uh, okay. We got Khalifla next for Gregory. Um, you would like the Super Saiyan version of Miss Khalifla. Uh, love this one. There's like so much movement and like dynamism to it. And this one, uh, was done by a good friend of mine. You may recognize his name, Micah Solusad. He is an incredibly talented actor, voice actor, does a lot of dub work for Funimation, now Crunchyroll. But a lot of people don't realize that he is actually a crazy talented artist as well. Um, and he did the art on this. And then his beautifully talented wife, Ayu, does the coloring. So they are like a dream team. They uh, have a studio, art art page studio together called um, Pain Apple. P-A-I-N Apple instead of Pine. It's Pain Apple. And I um, highly recommend following them on Instagram and Twitter. They uh, are so cool to watch work. And their work is just beautiful. Um, all right, Gregory. Are you ready for multiple exclamation marks? You get three! <laughs> Cause it's Khalifla! Who may be the most extra character I've ever voiced. That's a toss up though, I've voiced a lot of extra characters. <laughs> Gregory, my friend, there you go. Uh. Ah. Uh, Mullet Munch, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I don't, I really, I can't help you with that aspect of it. I'm so sorry. I don't, um, I, I, I don't handle or, or have any power or ability to, to change or alter any of that on that side. Um, please just get in contact with Streamly as, as fast as you can. And, um, I, I have no doubt they will resolve the issue for you. I'm so sorry. Um, okay. Um, all right, I have a Urbosa print here from Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's no person to make it out to, so I'm not sure who, who this is for. I did want to let you know, um, I, unbeknownst to me, was out of this particular print with the dark background, but I have her in the same pose in the light background, so I hope this one is okay. Um, my apologies on that. And let's give her, ooh, I think red would look good with Miss Urbosa here. Match, match that hair color. Um, fun fact about the Breath of the Wild cast, we realized that there um, was like a lot of like physical similarities between the voice actors and the characters they played. You know, like Joe Hernandez who plays Daruk is, you know, like, a big teddy bear of a guy. And, you know, Sean Chiplock, who plays Rivali, is, you know, very, uh, you know, slim and slender and tall and is very excitable and kind of moves very quickly like a bird. And, uh, you know, I've got Urbosa's red hair. You can't see it quite so well in this lighting right now. Um, all right, mystery, mystery buyer. Your Urbosa print will be sent out to you. And who have we got next? We have Rosaria for Kieran. Please, could you sign it with a quote? Work hard and live each day to the fullest. P.S. I love your voice work. Keep up the good work. Aw, thank you so much. It really means a lot, guys. <laughs> it does. It's such a weird job sometimes to like basically be working by yourself and, uh, Especially when like, you know, I was trained and grew up doing theater, which is in front of a live audience. So you get like immediate feedback and with voiceover, you're just kind of like yelling into the void. So it means a lot to hear the kind words from you guys. Thank you so much. Um, Kieran, I love your name too. Work hard. And live each day to 
the fullest. Excellent advice for all of us. Because so when you're in Rosaria's line of work, you gotta live in the now. Because you never know how many you're gonna how many of those days you're gonna get, right? There you are, my friend. Will you have that print available at Galaxy Con in March? This one, the Rosaria print? Absolutely, absolutely. This is a, a newer print for me and I love her so much and she will 100% be at all of the Galaxy Cons because I think I'm doing four this year. Richmond, Raleigh, Columbus, and then my home city of Austin. So if you come to the Austin one, I can give you tons of recommendations of like where to go and where to eat and check out what's cool. Will I come to Connecticut or is MA in Massachusetts? I think. Um, I think. I think it's Massachusetts. Uh, I, I don't think I have anything currently on the books. Uh, or that's been announced for um, that kind of like northeastern part of the U.S. Uh, but stay tuned on Instagram or Twitter. Um, it's still early in the year. Uh, conventions are still getting solidified. And there's also stuff that I've signed contracts for but can't announce yet. So stay tuned. Um, what are we doing next? Another midnight for Drew. And we got the... The, I was almost gonna call her the realistic midnight, but it's not still really not quite realistic. Uh, just uh, a different art style, I suppose. Um, but I love her. She is serving sass, serving face. Um, and Drew, what do you say here? Please surprise me with the personalization. I always like to see what voice actors and actresses come up with. Okay. Um, let me see. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna do one of my favorite quotes for her then in the lovely magenta. I feel like this quote is uh, very appropriate uh, for this particular <laughs> print. Sorry, it's a long one, so I'm having to concentrate. Um, I think I saw somebody ask if these prints are only available at cons and in general they are. I don't have like a website or store that I operate on a regular basis. Um, I do do these live streams with Streamly occasionally, um, but I think maybe one or two a year is kind of it. So, uh, so yeah. The occasional Streamly live stream and then cons uh, are the best ways to get a hold of these prints. And Drew, here is that midnight print for you. Um, let's put you over here to dry. Who do we have next? Um, Andrew Maldonado uh, with a Hollyberry print. I'm so sorry, I can't sign her for you live. Um, but I will make sure that she gets to you safely and uh, I'll try to get you a video of me signing her if I can. Um, how many Rosaria prints do I have? I just have the one right now, the one that um, you saw. Uh, oh, what was the quote for Midnight that I love? Uh, I mean, it's the classic, um, I'll be sure to dole out some tender loving punishment for you. Um, very Midnight. Uh, who have we got next? Okay. Um, we have a winter print. Um, there's no name, so I will just be signing that one. Where are my winter prints? Nope, not there. I think they're right here. 
you are getting what I like to call the puzzle piece uh, print. Um, it is kind of like that other, um, the, uh, the, the Khalifla and Kefla print that I showed you guys earlier. Um, this one, Kara Eberly, the voice of Weishni, my sister, has um, the print that completes the Schnee family sigil here, and then Weiss is on the other side. I love this one so much. Um, so, uh, ooh, I don't have, well, I could do the white for this one. Um, so no name, so I'll just sign this one. And a fun uh, bit of trivia, uh, this piece, Kara and I um, commissioned together from an artist who then went on to end up uh, drawing a bunch of the covers for the Ruby manga. So I thought that was that was pretty cool, a little unintended uh, crossover. Their destiny was just had Ruby written in their stars. All right, so you can see this is what it looks like signed. And then we have another one of those winter puzzle piece prints for Emily. I absolutely love your work. I'd love it if you could include your favorite winter quote. If you have one, please. Thank you. Um, <laughs> she's got some good ones too. Uh, one of my current favorites though is I outrank you. <laughs> so I'm going to put that one on there. Um, where is the print? There we go. Emily. Surprisingly, that is not a name that people get my name confused with. I thought they would. Um, <laughs> is there a way I can buy one when I get paid this Tuesday? Oh, I don't... Uh, I don't think so. Um, I guess just keep an eye and I'll announce if I do another streamily, but um, unfortunately uh, my shop closes after this evening for the time being. So I'm so sorry about that, but hopefully I will see you at a con, maybe be, be at one near you soon. Um, I saw somebody say they're celebrating the Lunar New Year by watching Fruits Basket. That's so awesome. Um, oh God, I love that show so much. Uh, I mean, I, I love, so many shows and I, I try to watch everything that I'm a part of, but Fruits Basket was one of those ones that I just, I mean, through working on it and then watching it once the dubs came out, it's become one of my like top three anime of all time. And it's not because I'm in it. Like I just love that show so much. All right, Emily, I am signing your winter here for you. Woo! Paint pen fumes, they are so intense. All right, Miss Emily, there is your winter for you. And let's see, who do we have next? Jess, got an Amir for you. Not too sure, but I wanted to say thank you so much for bringing this character to life. She encouraged me to pursue writing comics, which has made... Oh, I think you got... Um, your. I think your note got cut off, unfortunately, but... Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love that she encouraged you to like pursue something that you were passionate about or maybe nervous about pursuing, because... You know, that's how I was with acting. It's always nervous to like go for something and give it at your all. But that's awesome, Jess. Congratulations. Oh, hi, Jess. Oh, hi. I, th I think that's you. <laughs> okay, let me find my Amir print. I think it's over here. Amir, my Amir was actually also drawn by the crazy talented artistic duo of Micah Solusad and Ayu. Um, 
There she is. Oh, so emo as she can be. Um, well, just let me see. Hold on. Maybe let me, let me, let me see if I can think of, of something fun to write on there for you. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to put a little quote on there for you. I hope you don't mind. It is going to say, live your life with pride. Because that is one of my favorite Amir quotes. And it sounds like you are doing just that. So good on you. There you are, Jess. Okay. Uh, this should be dry over here. Do we have next Austin? See, you got your print order in. Awesome! I got it for a midnight. We got the, I guess I can call her the Logan Cure Midnight. The name of the artist that uh, drew her. Crazy talented artist. I believe he is based out of South America, and um, if you like his art style. He does um, so many different anime characters in this art style. It's really, really cool. Um, I always love seeing his work. And Austin, it looks like you just want it made out to you and then my autograph. So no problem. Um, I'm going to do it in this beautiful blue to match her eyes. <laughs> do I ship Amir and Historia? Uh, absolutely. 100%. That's like right here. That's, that's, that's in my heart. That's not just in my head. That's in my heart. It's funny. I, um, I don't usually like have issues with actions that my characters take per se. You know, it's kind of like, all right, well, that's them and that's what they chose to do and don't always, you know, think about it twice. But man, Emir broke my heart with her insisting on going back with um, Raina. Like, I just was like, why, why, why can't you stay and be happy? Um, I, I had a hard time coming to terms with that one and like finding a way to... Um, to justify it so that I could like figure out how to play it as the character and like have, have truth to it and stuff. Um, yeah, that one, that one broke my heart. Um, all right, Austin, here is your midnight print for you. So glad you got that in. Um, this should be dry here. I'm going to read, that seems to be the end of the list. So I'm just going to refresh. Uh, make sure I didn't miss anyone. Oh. Oh, wait. Nope, we did. Nope. Hmm. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Mm -mm. Okay. Let me make sure... Oh, okay. Sorry. We got another, um, I got another one from Kevin, um, on the VIP list for Alberto. Um, please include your favorite funniest Alberto quote. It was nice meeting you at Anime Expo last year. Thank you for coming. That was a really fun con. Really fun con. Kind of crazy. I don't know if I've ever experienced anything like Anime Expo before. That was like out of this world. Um, so many people, so many cool booths. I was, it was overload, but it was amazing meeting y'all. Um, Alberto, where'd you go, my baby? Where'd you go? Are you down here? Yeah. Nope, that's Rosaria. There you are. There you are. Okay. My favorite or funniest Alberto quote. 
Oh, I really, I'm trying to think if there are any good quotes surrounding the bicorn. Um, where we find out that uh, <laughs> Albedo can touch the bicorn and we didn't uh, anticipate that. Um, I don't remember any off the top of my head. Um, I'm going to kind of make up one. I hope you're okay with it. I think you will be. Because one of my favorite Albedo moments is, um, <laughs> is when, um, I'm forgetting the name of the kind of like butler type character off the, the top of my head, but he goes into Ainz's bedroom and he discovers Albedo in Ainz's bed with that like enormous Ainz body pillow. Um, it's a little, <laughs> little, little meta, a little breaking the fourth wall and I love it. Um, so I'm going to make, I'm going to make up like a quote surrounding that. I hope that's okay. Because it's Albedo, we have to add a whole smattering of hearts because she is like a living embodiment of the heart eyes emoji. If I ever met one, look up the definition of Albedo in the Urban Dictionary <laughs> and you will see the the, the, the purple smiley face devil horn emoji combined with the heart eyes emoji. <laughs> that is Lady Albedo in a nutshell. <laughs> All right, Kevin, my friend, there you are. I'm excited for you to get this, see what you think of the quote. Um, I'll let you find out when you get it, what it is. Uh, gotta love some anticipation. Okay. Um, oh, we got a couple more. Uh, Matthew. Okay. Um, Matthew Voss. We have a character collage from Mr. Matthew Voss. One of my oldest, dearest fan friends. Um, you were just like the nicest most supportive, most positive person. And I love you. And I love you filling up social media with your kindness and your positivity. Got another collage print for you. Mm -mm. Matthew, I feel like you might have like the rare distinction of of maybe owning almost every single print that I have at this point. <laughs> so here's another one for your collection. Thank you. Big heart emoji to you, my friend. <laughs> and there was another new one down here I saw for Tyler. Ooh, we got a midnight glamour photo. Um, that's what I call it. Remember those glamour photos from, from like the late, what were they? It was like early, like late eighties to like the mid nineties, maybe even late nineties. And they would be in malls and they would like put a ton of makeup on you and like do your hair up and put you in like fabulous clothing. And then you would do glamour shots. And, um, I totally saved up to do some of those when I was like, 12 or 13 years old and it was a little bit ridiculous because I ended up looking like a strange quasi adult version of myself because I had so much makeup on and like the clothes they put me in were not age appropriate not in like a sexy way but they just were not like the clothes that a 13 year old would wear um anywho 
Tyler. Here's the glamour shot. I, I have to see if I still have those glamour shots. Oh my God, if I find them, I will post them for you guys. They are hilarious. Um, can I do midnight? Can I do a midnight quote, please? You're the first VA I have bought an autograph from. Also my favorite. Oh my gosh, thank you. I'm so honored, Tyler. Um, yes, I would be happy to do a quote for you. Um, let's see. What quote does this picture of midnight make me think of? Tyler, are you on the stream? If you're on the stream, pop up and say so really quick. I feel like you are because I feel like this is a new order. So I feel like you just came in. Dr. Whiskey in the house. Hi, dude. Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for popping into my live stream. <laughs> Tyler. Okay. You are here. Tyler, what are your pronouns? If you don't, if, if you don't mind sharing, if you don't want to, you totally don't have to. Oh, Jess. I'm the first autograph you got too. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm, I'm really honored. Thank you. Um, but yeah, Tyler, I'll wait like another minute. If you feel like sharing your pronouns, um, it might help me with this quote, but you totally don't need to feel like you need to. Um, uh, oh, love your Final Fantasy Engage character. Ah, thank you. Um, uh, she was a lot of fun to play. Um, and ultimately a lot more complex than I thought that she was going to be. Um, I don't know if I'm going to end up at an Irish convention. I would love to, I've never been to Ireland and I so, so would like to, um, at the moment, I will tell you at this moment, I don't have any international cons on the books for 2023, but again, um, uh, that could change. Uh, we're only in January. A lot of times things don't get, uh, ironed out, you know, right at the beginning of the year. Um, we still are in negotiations with conventions and, and figuring stuff out many months into the year. So, um, so it's possible, but I can't promise anything. Okay. I'm going to pick, um, I'll do, I'll do, you know, I'll do my, my, one of my favorite, um, midnight quotes, the good old faithful. Winky face emoji. <laughs> um, oh, Matthew, I missed your, I, I, I saw that you were saying something about like how many, um, how many uh, prints you have in the, in the magazine uh, that Jason and I were in that you got, um, that you got signed, but I missed, I missed the first part of it. I'm sorry. Um, have I been to a Comic-Con in Stockton? I have not. Um, I've been to a number in California. But I have not done one in Stockton specifically. And for those that don't know, California is my, my OG. It's not actually where I was born. I was born in New Orleans um, and did part of my growing up there. Uh, but some of my most formative growing up years, like junior high and high school uh, and college, I did all in California, first in Northern and then in Southern. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, Tyler, I missed it. I missed what you said, but that's okay. I already signed it. Um, I picked one of my favorite quotes, so we are all good there, my friend. Um, let me refresh, see if we've got anything else. Um, okay. That seems to be it on the general list. Let me, oh no, that was the VIP list. Oh, okay. Well, let me double check the general list then um okay i think i think that covers it um all right yeah i think that 
covers it, guys. Um, oh, it's, oh, gotcha. Okay, the one that I just signed is your six print, bringing your total to seven. Well done, my friend. You are a wonderfully supportive uh, dude. Thank you, Matthew. Um, thank you guys so much. Well, I do more live videos on Instagram. <laughs> um, I will try to, I promise. I, I have to admit I'm still, you know, relatively new to, to streaming and doing live stuff and it's a lot of fun. Um, but it just doesn't always enter into my head to do it. Um, but I will try to, I will try to, cause I always have fun when I do. Um, yeah. I look forward to meeting you at Galaxy Con too. And um, aw, thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, I had a really great time. And um, I guess, does anybody have any other last? Uh, no, Jonathan, I did not see your question. Um, if you want to pop it in there again, if anybody has any last questions, I can wait a second and see. Um, do, 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 do. Aw, thank you, United States of Smash KC. I appreciate that. Um, I do have new roles coming, but I, yeah. That one will be very, very missed. Very missed. Um, oh, am I going to a KamehaCon 5? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, oh my gosh, sorry, it's coming so fast. It's hard to, hard to, um, yes, I did realize that you were the Jess with the last name. I did. Yes. <laughs> Wilson, right? Jess Wilson. Sorry. I hope that's okay to say on a live stream. Yeah, I think I said it earlier. So, um, do I have any plans to sell a Saeco print? Um, n n probably not. I'm so sorry. Um, it's uh, what prints that I choose to get commissioned because I do I, I commission most of my prints um, and so I do you know spend money to, uh, to to commission artists to make them and um, and I, I tend to do that based on uh, demand or like perceived demand and um, I love me some Saeco. I actually logged more hours on Yakuza like a dragon when we were in that like stay at home period of um, COVID than any other game. I love that game so much. Um, but there just hasn't been as much demand for Saeco prints. So I'm so sorry about that. But I think she's on my character collage. Um, so she'll be smaller. <laughs> but if you if you want something with Saeco, um, it does have that in there. Um, uh, doop -a doop -a doo uh, what's my favorite TV show and movie to watch? Um, oh gosh, to say just like a favorite is is really hard because that's like a lot of pressure. But like uh, TV shows that I'm enjoying watching right now, um, I know I'm a little late to the game, um, but I am like almost done with Ted Lasso and I, I love that show so much, you guys. Um, a, the acting in it is great. B, I love a British accent. It's like, you can take any sentence and have somebody say it with a British accent and this immediately becomes better. <laughs> um, and I just love, like, I don't know. I love villains. I love playing villains. But in the real world, I love rooting for a good guy. I, I really do. And I just love Jason Sudeikis' character. I like seeing good things happen to good people, honestly. Um, and, uh, movie, movie. Oh, that's, oh, that's so hard. One of my all time favorite movies. So I, I admit I'm a big rom-com fan. Um, and I loved the days of like the golden age of rom-com with Meg Ryan and so forth. And um, French Kiss with Meg Ryan and Kevin Kline. It's one of my favorite romantic comedies. And it's uh, still one of my favorite movies to this day. Um, the, uh, you people make my ass twitch. <laughs> line. It's one of my favorites. Um, yeah. And I'm trying to think if there are any other movies I've seen recently that I really love. 
Big Trouble in Little China is one of my all-time favorite movies as well. I love John Carpenter. I love Kurt Russell. And I think um, Big Trouble in Little China is just like both of them at their best. <laughs> ah, okay, guys. Well, does anybody have any last questions? I can do like one or two more. Um, and then I need to go make myself dinner because I forgot to eat lunch. And it is now... 7 p.m. here in Austin and I am hungry and I still have to make dinner. Um, I'm trying to eat healthier so I'm gonna make some, uh, I mean not that I didn't eat healthy to start with, but um, I am making turkey meatballs with uh, some grilled zucchini and what else is in it? I think there's a salad in there too. I don't quite remember. I haven't looked at the recipe in a hot minute. I ordered it from Sun Basket. Um, what's my favorite hobby? Oh, ooh. I mean, I not to sound cliche, but reading. <laughs> I love to read so much, particularly fantasy. You should see my fantasy collection. I guess I can take you guys and show you. It's kind of kind of a little dark in my house right now. But um I actually just uh just redid my bookshelf. Um but I love fantasy books. And here, let me see. Can I I just uh just just read it. I just got these really cool little owl um like bookends. Um really heavy. They're made from alabaster vintage made in Italy. But um I picked up I when I did that convention, I did um a convention in Australia recently and I picked up a bunch of uh novels by Australian fantasy authors while I was there. This one's from Australia. Um, this one's from Australia. This one's from Australia. Um, where are some of the other ones? I've got some more down here. This one's from Australia. So I still have to read them. But, uh, all of this was to say that I, uh, I love reading. I love reading fantasy. And in all honesty, it's one of the reasons why I, um, I don't, <laughs> play as much video games as I'd like or watch as much TV as I probably should since I do on camera acting as well is because if you give me free time, I will probably choose to read a book over just about anything else. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Ryan has what? Lots of roadie soul and dandy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I literally just organized my bookshelf today. I literally organized it a couple of hours before um, the Cookie Run uh, Kingdom live stream. So that is why it is uh, it is um, more organized at the moment. Um, but yeah. And if you guys are looking for recommendations, I'll just I'll end I'll end the live stream with this for any other book lovers. Um, I love Naomi Novik. Um, the Spinning Silver is a fantastic book. It was the first book of hers I read. Um, really awesome, strong female protagonist. Uh, really cool in that it is um, uh, based on Eastern European mythology instead of kind of like a lot of the Europe, like more Western European mythology that we're more familiar with, with dwarves and elves and fairies and stuff. So lots of really cool new mythology to me anyways. And I, th I think to most people, I feel like we don't do um, Eastern, Eastern European mythology as much. And where's the other one that I really, really liked? Um, dang it, dang it. Oh, okay. So if y'all like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, um, like if you like that kind of like comedic, um, action-y type fans, I guess it's, I guess it's a little more sci-fi than fantasy really. But, um, I got this book in Australia. It's called The Shakedowners by Justin Woolley. And, um, it was freaking funny, man. It was very like Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy-esque, um, 
Like I was like giggling out loud on the plane home to uh, the US and got some funny looks, but it was totally worth it. <laughs> so I will leave you with uh, those two recommendations. Thank you again, guys, for joining me. I'm gonna go make some dinner and I hope you all have an excellent rest of the evening and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.